Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another Touchline video. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit subscribe, comment down below. Today, we're gonna be doing a much requested video. You know, last time around we did ranking every single Channel 9 scoreboard from then up until now. Today, we're gonna be ranking every single Fox Sports scoreboard from 1997 to 2024. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, as you can see, Fox Sports has had some many design changes over the years. I think they've had more than Channel 9. Channel 9 had about 10. Fox Sports has had 15, um, even though Channel 9 has been doing it longer. But anyways, let's get straight into it. The first one, 1997, the inaugural design. Uh, this is the first one they went with. You look, between Channel 9's first one and this one, I've got to pick this one. At least it has a bit more color. But look, Channel 9 started around the 80s, 70s. Uh, this one was in the 90s, late 90s. So you got to cut up some slack there for Channel 9. But it's a great design. Um, I like how the color pops out. Again, the, the, the yellow color is a, is a nice touch to it. Um, similar to the Channel 9 one, the team that was up will be the team that's displayed on the design. Um, I like the, the little timer on the side. Look, not a bad design for the first one. I'm going to say, I'm going to say meh. It's a meh design. All right, now moving on, they used this design between 1999 and 2000. Look, I think this one stands today in 2024. Not a bad design. I really like this one. I like how it's black and white. It contrasts between each other. Um, you know, you have the, the shot clock, the timer on the left. You've got the tackle count on the left. And you have the team and the scoreboard on the right, which I really like about it. Um, yeah, I, I like the fun on this one. I'm going to say this one is a... Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a, between good and great. I'm going to say it was a good, good design. All right, now moving on to the 01 design. Now, this one personally is a downgrade in my opinion. Um, look, I don't like the color palette that's going on. I get why they went for this approach uh, because of the Fox Sports logo at the time. It was blue and gold. They went for a more branding approach to it. But look, the, the design itself, I don't like how the black stands against the yellow. I don't like the awkward shapes that they have going on in this design. Um, the... Look, the only good thing I can say about this design is the font. I like the font in terms of the club's name. But other than that, look, it's a mere design. I'm going to put it under the mere category. Now, moving on to the O2 scoreboard. Now, guys, if you watched the last video, you know how much I hate, I despise, can't stand the long form scoreboard. I hate how they go from the left edge of the screen to the right. There's no use for it. But this one is a more expanded approach um, from the last design we just ranked. Um, and you know how I feel about the last design. I don't like the shapes of it. I don't like the color palette. Um, and it just makes it even worse in that it's a long form scoreboard. But look, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one's trash. I don't think it's even meh, it's trash. Just because, again, the long form scoreboard. Now moving on to the 03 scoreboard. Now this one, I don't mind in terms of long form scoreboards. At least this time around, they filled out the gaps. Um, but in saying so, you know, I don't I still don't like the color palette and I get it from a branding side of things around this time. Um, they, they expanded on the tackle count, you know, instead of saying second in terms of the number two and then N and D, they had the actual T-A-C-K-L-E tackle, one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth, um, which I don't like about this one. But uh, look, it's a better one in terms of the last one, but I, I'm gonna still put it under the trash category even though I, I rated it a bit better than the last one, but yeah. Now moving on to the 04 to 05 design, um, I think this is better in terms of long form scoreboards, even better than the last one. I know I said what I said in terms of that being the better one, but I think this one takes the cake. Um, I, but I just find it weird how there's a random Fox logo on this design. Um, but look, I like the color palette. They got rid of the hideous blue and gold. Um, I like how it all comes together. I like the little shapes on it. Um, but in saying so, I'm going to say this one is a... Uh, look, it goes against my stance on long form designs, but I'm going to say this one's a good, a good design. Moving on to this one. Now, this one is the 08 edition of the scoreboards. Um, look, hands down, the best design that they've ever made. I know a lot of people can relate when I say that. We grew up in this one. You know, minus the nostalgia factor of it and all the memories that come from it. Uh, this is one of the better ones in general. I love the, the, the yellow accents to it. I love the animations of this scoreboard, um, especially the video referee where it'd say um, try or no try, um, just with the LED that will scroll past. Um, just, it fit with the whole branding around the time with the, the mechanic branding. Um, just. This is a goaded design, and in saying that, look, I'm gonna put this in the goat tier. You, you can't go past it. Moving on to this one, now this is the 09 version of the previous one, um, pretty much is the same. The only difference is the blue backing, and they removed the little yellow accents to it. 
pretty much is the same logo, so or same design. So I'm gonna put this still in the goat tier. Now this one they brought in between 2011 to 2012. Straight off the bat, I hate it. I don't like it. It's disgusting. You got weird shapes going on, colors flying everywhere. It's like looking into a rainbow. But anyways, what I like about it is the fact that they brought in the club's logo into it. Um, I think Channel 9 did the same thing around this time, um, which is a plus 10 for me again. Uh, but in terms of the color side of it, um, look, for this example, you've got Brisbane Broncos and Warriors. You know, Warriors is all, is all right because their, their club's logo at the time was, you know, black and white. Um, but in terms of Broncos, you know, it's a bit weird seeing the scoreline, you know, having a, a maroon backing and a gold number. You know, it just doesn't fit well. It just makes the design look weak. But, and why is there a random Fox Sports logo on the side? You know, it just doesn't seem right. You know, put that Fox Sports logo in the top, the, you know, in the top right hand corner, you know. But anyways, it is what it was at the time. Um, you know, in saying so, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this one's trash. Yeah, you can't go past trash. Now moving on, this is the 2013 to 2014 scoreboard design. Now this is how you do a scoreboard. I really like this one, very compact design. You know, you have the club's logo there, you know, uh, the, the club's name will stand out, the scoreline will stand out. On a white back in this time, they got rid of the, the colored ones. Um, you have the, the league's logo at the time in the middle. You know, the timer in the middle, tackle count in the middle. I love the animations around this time. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this one is a great design. Now moving on, they went for a more simpler approach in 2015, very different from the last one in 2014. In my opinion, a downgrade. You know, I think around this time, a lot of businesses um, started to go simple in terms of their branding and logos. So I think Fox Sports wanted to follow suit. Um, what I like about this one is I like how it still stands out, the club's name and the scoreline. I like the little green accents to it because I think Fox Sports changed their logo to a more green logo. Um, but yeah, but the only thing I don't like about this one is how they removed the club's logo and added the V to the to the, the scoreboard. Um, but yeah, look, in saying that, I don't like simple designs. I really don't. Just that's in anything. I've said that in the last video. But it's, I guess it's a, uh, look, do I mind it? I don't mind it. So I'm going to put it, I don't know, I'm, I'm in between meh and good. Uh, look, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put a good. I'm gonna put it as a good design. Now moving on to 2017, pretty much the same thing. You know, this time around, they ended up adding the club's logo into the scoreboard. I think they started to listen to the fans, but they did it in the wrong way. I don't know why they still added the V. It looked all messy, but look, it's pretty, again, it's pretty much the same thing. I like the green accents. Everything goes well together. I'm gonna say this one is, Look, I'm gonna say this one is good. It's a good design. Moving on to 2018, they brought back the rainbow with this one, but I think it's the better rainbow form design than the last one. Um, but in saying that, they got rid of the V and the logo with this one. I don't know why, but it's nice. I like the little green accents to it. Everything worked well together. Animations were nice around this time. Um, do I think it's a great one? No, I'm gonna put this in the good category again. Now moving on to the 2020 to 2021 design. Now this one is the better design out of the rainbow designs that, I, that I'm calling them. Um, you know, what I like about this one is that they implemented the club logos back into it. Um, pretty much is the same thing as the 2018, which I ranked good. Um, but with this one, what I really, really, really like about this one is that whatever the team was wearing, you know, in, in terms of this example, Penner Panthers, they're wearing pink in this game. Um, you know, the, the scoreboard would change to pink in terms of their, their team. Um, I really like that accent to it. Um, but in saying that, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this in the, I'm not going to say go. I'm going to say great in the great category. All right, now for this one, now this one was brought in in 2022. We're still using it now. Um, I really, really, really like this one. Um, I like how they put the club's logo in a circle format now. It makes it look more neater. And I like how they got rid of the, the colored backings. You know, it didn't always look nice, but even though I didn't mind it, um, this is a more nice and professional way of doing a scoreboard. Um, look, in saying so, I'm gonna put this one, look, to be honest, right now, I think this is one of the greatest scoreboards. So that in saying that, I'm gonna put that in the GOAT tier. So yeah, there you have it. That's my ranking for every single Fox League scoreboard design from then to now. If you're new here, hit the like button, hit subscribe, comment down below, let me know what I should rank next. And other than that, have a good day, guys.